What is going on guys, there's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now, last time we left off, we're still doing some achievements here at the very end of the series before we hit episode 100 and finally end season 1, so... Uh, this episode, I do want to continue doing some more of those achievements. Uh, we do have a few of them that I think we might be able to do this episode. Remember last episode, we did a lot of them, like the graveyard one, we went down to the bottom of the earth and all that kind of stuff. It was really good. But today it might be, we, we might not get that many achievements done this episode. Uh, survive a long fall with just a sliver of health. I definitely want to try that out. I might try that out like right now. Uh, let's see, golden fisher rod. That's probably never going to happen. These these fisher, or, uh, what are they called? Angler ones, that's probably never going to happen. Defeat every boss in Terraria. I might be able to do that. Because I, I, I do want to go into another world this episode. And there's like three different achievements I think we might be able to get over there. One of them is to break a demon altar or whatever it's called because there's a crimson altar in this world i think there's a demon altar in the other world uh i do need to get a hammer i think that would be over here a tool so might as well get the pwn hammer if we still have that i don't know if i sold it or what uh i don't i don't think we have one actually is this a no that's an axe yeah pickaxe axe i don't think we have a po oh you know what we need to make the uh oh man what is it called again the thing that records like 40 of everything like shroomite and Whatever else. I think I think we need to make that thing. The drill containment unit. How do we make that, though? Because I do want to make that. There it is right there. 40 Luminite, 40 Chlorophyte, 40 Shroomite, 40 Spectre Bars, and 40 Hexstone, and 40 Meteorite Bars. I guess we could try and make that. Might as well zoom in a little bit here. So we need 40 Luminite, Chlorophyte. Do we have that? Yep, we've got enough Luminite. We've got 70-something, so let's get 40 of that. Oh, whoops. Let's get about 40 of that. There you go. And then we need a little bit of spec. We need 40 specter bars. We only have two. We can make more of them, no problemo. And then, uh, oh, well, to make specter bars, we need to use the chlorophyte. So, yeah, we don't really have that. I need to go downstairs and go mine that, unfortunately. So, I have to go take care of that. And then we need meteorite. I think we need 40 of those. So, might as well try this thing out, you guys. This will be pretty cool. Crimson or, uh, no, it's crimtain. I need hexstone. Do I have hexstone here? I forgot what it looked like. Oh, is that? No, that's adamantite. Man, I don't know where it is. Hold on, let me sort. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to get it. Just got to go down to the uh, underground, and of course, that's a lot easier to do now because we have an actual teleport over there. We finally fixed that last episode. Remember that? Oh man, I forgot to go. Ah oh, man, I need to go down there and go continue cleaning. <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoops. Yeah, hexton bar right there. Shroomite. Uh, do we have any? I don't think we have any shroomite here, do we? I think any shroomite we made, we already used. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of that dark blue there, unfortunately. Yeah. Let me go get the. Uh... Oh, I need to get more green solution. I need to go clean that cave area a little bit more. I remember at the end of the last episode, we found a little bit more... Oh, wait, hold on. It's right there. There's the shroomite. What happened to it? <laughs> but, uh, there we go. Well, let's go buy some more from the uh, steampunker and go clean that up real quick. And I guess we could uh, take off our wings. There you go. Take off our wings. Go up to the boss arena. See how much of a fall we could take without dying or anything like that. Try and get that achievement. So that'll be pretty good. Let's get the green solution. Boom. There you go. 140, that should be more than enough. Let's go teleport now to the uh, underground. Oh, whoops. This is it right here. Yep. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to close that door, but whatever. Ah, it feels so good to actually teleport over here, you guys. All right, let's see. So where was that small little bit of uh, crimson at? There it is, I see it. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't spread there. And I know it will spread eventually, and here's hallowed. I guess I could try and prevent the hallowed from spreading too much here. There we go. And I know I'm getting a little bit into the underground mushroom biome there. Almost died from uh, lava. At least took a little bit of damage from that. But I think this should be enough cleansing here. There we go. All right, that that should stave off the the crimson for the last couple episodes here of the series. <laughs> there we go. All right, while we're down here, let's go grab some uh, crimson or uh, not crimson, uh, hexstone. We need to go grab some of that. Uh, how do you make it again? I think it's the uh, the actual ore down here, right? The one that turns into lava. So yeah, I guess I'll grab a... Oh man, I forgot what the actual ratio is between uh, how many ores you get compared to how many ingots you get out of those ores, you know? So, man. Oh, here we go. Here's a good spot. I guess we could try this. So, yeah, let me let me just mine a bunch of this hex down here, you guys. And does it... Does it... Okay, I was about to say, does it, like, break in lava? Like, if it touches the lava? That'd be kind of weird <laughs> if the hexstone touches the lava, if it just gets rid of it. 
Yeah, there you go. Hit 16 more right there. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we, we could stand on lava and stuff. I think we have the, uh, whatever, the, the boots on right now, so we don't have to worry about that. But, yeah, just to save us a little bit of time so I'm not literally mining this whole episode. I'm just get a bunch of hex stone right here. Then I need to go underneath my house. You guys remember the, uh, chlorophyte farm that we have underneath there? I need to go over there and harvest all the chlorophyte that we've got just laying around, not really doing anything. Need to use that, and we could use that to make specter bars and chlorophyte bars and, uh, shroomite bars, I believe, right? So, that's going to be really good. At least we have that farm going. So should be able to make all those, but yeah, let, let me just get all this X stone that we're going to need. Yeah, four right there. I don't know how many raw. <laughs> 76 right there. We need 40. I'll try and get like, I don't know, 160 or something like that. Just because I don't know what the ratio is. Four ores for ing one ingot. Or is it five? I don't know. I'm, I might just get like 200 just to be safe. <laughs> so yeah, let me just continue getting all these. And I'm actually pretty close right now. And I'll see you guys here in a bit after I get a bunch of chlorophyte and spectre bars and shroomite and all that kind of stuff too. And we could hopefully make this really cool drill contain- Oh, whoa! Oh, I'll take your damage. We could hopefully make this really cool drill containment unit thing, you guys. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Just got done going to the jungle biome as well as, of course, our chlorophyte farm over here. Cleaning that out, went to the jungle biome and used a couple spelunky potions to get a bunch of chlorophyte over there. And now we're up to 119 over here, which is good. I only need 40 actual chlorophyte bars, but I think we need to use chlorophyte bars in order to make specter bars as, or, uh, as well as shroomite bars, I believe. So I do need to look into how we actually do that because it's been a little while. And I think Spectre Bars just uh, come out together with like Ectoplasm or something like that, alright? So, let me see. How do you- Oh, man! <laughs> that happens way too often. I've, I've got to stop that. <laughs> Talk to Dylan, there you go. Let's give him the, uh... Oh, there you go. Jeez, I thought I lost him. <laughs> Let's see, okay, Spectre Bars, yeah, okay. Two Chlorify Bar and then one Ectoplasm, that's good. Shroomite Bar, Auto Hammer with 15 Glowing Mushrooms. I should have a lot of those by now. Especially because we do have that, uh... I think, oh yeah, we got tons, 867. <laughs> let's grab that, and uh, we need, let's see, where's the active, oh, I think it's in this one, actually. It's in this, oh yeah, we got 98 right there, okay, I think we're good, I think we're good. Uh, how, l l let me grab the, uh, the, let's see, that's the wrong thing. Let me actually grab the specter bars and the shroomite bars, just so I don't get too many of these things, or too little. So, let's go over here, auto hammer, there it is right there. So we need 20 more shroomite, which means, zip, there we go. Thankfully, it's just 15 mushrooms and then one chlorophyte, so... Boom! And then we need, uh, specter bars, which I should be able to do over here at the forge, I believe, right? The, uh, area. Let's grab that, and where's the... Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So we need 18 of these. So we get two at a time, and we're up to 18! So do we have enough now? Do we have everything? Hold on. Uh, 20 specter... Wait, what? Oh! Uh, I, I need four. <laughs> I, 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 I thought we already had 20 there, just like the, uh, the Shroomite one. Let's see, hold on. Let's go back. Let's get another 20 over here. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got enough. <laughs> Let's see, so can I make the thing now? If I put that there, there we go. Then I grab all those. I put all the stuff up over here that where it belongs, just so I don't lose track of it and stuff. There we go. Ectoplasm, put that up up here. Then extra chlorophyte bar, we put that up over here. Yeah, I got way too much. I forgot I already had, a. Uh, Shroomite and all that stuff over here already, but there we go. Can I make... Oh! I can! Drill containment unit, you guys. Holy heck. Someone's a rideable drill mount. So I assume we put that over here. Oh, you know what? I might get rid of the diet. It looks kind of stupid now, honestly. <laughs> We've had it for like a whole episode or something like that by now, right? So it don't really matter. Let's do it. Drill containment unit. Boom! We got it, you guys. Let's put that over here. Where the cosmic car key is, I assume. Yes. Boom. I guess we'll go put this up, uh, Cosmic Car Key. I don't know, I guess I'll put it up over here temporarily. There you go. <laughs> and I'll, I'll get rid of all the, uh, the dyes and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not going to use them anymore to be quite honest, so, uh... Hold on. Is that going into that shell? Where's this going? Oh, it's going into my inventory. Okay. And then, zip, there you go. Alright. So we've got that going. I guess we can go dig down and, uh, test this out. <laughs> where should we go? Should we go... Man, where have we gone? Where have we not really got? Over here, and then like over here. Look at look at how much we've actually explored, though, you guys. Like, for a hundred episode series, we did a pretty decent amount over here. Not bad. And we've only ever used the teleport potion like once, and it took us like over here, which is interesting. Which we'd uh, discover a little bit more over here. But hey, it's a medium sized map. We discovered, I'd say, especially the sky, which is really good. Probably because of that cosmic car key. Now, I'd say we discovered. I don't know, like forty percent of the map. Like, I, I discovered, of course, all the underworld, just because, you know, I had to search for stuff down there. All the sky. The, the caves are, I'd say, maybe, like, 
30% discovered, I'd say. So not, not too bad there. I'd say, yeah, like 40%, like almost halfway on the whole entire map there. That's not too bad. Let me know in the comments down below how much have you guys explored of your maps. If you guys are playing Terraria, how do I get rid of this? There you go. <laughs> if you guys are playing Terraria as well, I'd love to know. Some of you guys are probably out there with like fully explored maps and stuff like that, where it's just, you see everything over here. I'm like, I guess if you get to that point, like there isn't really much to do, right? Like you've already explored everything. So what is there to do at that point? Where should I go for this? Oh, you know, you, we do need to go to the underground desert to try and find the gulf guy. So I guess we'll go to the desert over there. There you go. And I assume we just spawn in the same thing or same way as like uh, the UFO or a unicorn or anything like that by doing that. Oh, is this? Oh, this thing flies as well. Oh, I don't even need the UFO thing then, huh? So how's this work, though? Does this work by? Uh, oh, oh, my God, oh, man, it's killing the cacti there. Hold on. Hold on. We need to go underground and test this thing out a little bit. Hold on. Zoom out. I think we're going to have to zoom out for something like this. Man, hopefully I don't miss that golf guy getting distracted by using this thing here, you guys. Golly, look at all those ones up there. Oh! Holy! Look at that! This is crazy, you guys. This is like the matter manipulator from uh, Starbound where you're able to break like a 3x3 three three tile area. I know people hate whenever I you know, compare this to Starbound, but you know, that's the only other game that I played that's like similar to Terraria. Oh, holy heck, this is amazing. Look at this. Like, if I'm if I'm digging around, trying to find chlor- You know what? I might go to the jungle or something like that, try and get some chlorophyte that way. How much range does this have, though? Uh, compared to the- Actually, I think it has about the same ra- Hold on. Uh, oh, I can't really- I, I have to get out of the thing, though. I want to use- How do I- I guess I have to- Man. There you go. Laser drill. There we go. I guess I can't use it while hitting shift or whatever. Uh, has a little bit, le I'd say, a little bit less range than the laser drill, but that has a uh, plus 11 range, so yeah. <laughs> Can't really compete with that, can you? <laughs> but man, this thing, being able to break like three, four, five, six tiles or something like that at a time, constantly like this. Man, this is amazing. Look at all that iron ore I'm picking up right there. I, I assume it also does damage, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, who knows. What's that thing right there? I don't even know where to look for this, uh, if I'm, if I'm there you go, get that out. Use the zenith. Maybe I could find the golfer guy by doing this, perhaps. Hopefully, oh, I didn't accidentally just kill him by doing this, though. Golly. <laughs> Look at this. Yep. Digging through all this. Man, I can dig down to the bottom of the earth so fast. Look at that. Man, that is amazing. Hold on, let's kill that. Well, I don't know if I did that damage. I think it was mostly my Terra Prisma, honestly. Oh, now we're actually getting down to where we've uh, previously explored. And we're floating around, stuff like that, so we don't have to worry about gravity, which is really, really good. Man. This is awesome. I'd hate to say it though, but I, we might have to wait until like season two to try and find the golfer guy. Cause I don't know, I'm like, NPC spawns are like super RNG, like, what are, what are the odds that I'm going to come across him in, in my medium sized world and stuff like that, right? There's a green jellyfish right there, I forgot what we get from green jellyfish. Oh yeah, like, yeah, we're trying to make something for like, uh, I forgot. Oh yeah, we're trying to- oh man, look at all the desert fossils over there. You guys remember like two, three episodes ago, we had a giant desert fossil thing, I took like, I took so long, I had to keep the, you know, most of the mining out of the video, I think, right? But, man, we just cleaned all that out, like, instantly, golly. I don't even know if you can still get anything decent from desert fossils. Like that dinosaur thing that I'm pretty sure you guys have talked about before. I don't know. Might be, like, way too late game for something like that, right? But it'd still be pretty cool, I'll tell you that much. Oh, more fossils right here, look at this. Jeez, just vaporizing all of them. And, of course, they're going in my inventory. I think my, uh, void vault is actually full, though, so... If I do have a full inventory here, I'm not going to be picking up a- Oh, yeah, look at that! We got a, uh, a bow statue right there. Yeah, I found a few statues, by the way, in the jungle, trying to find, uh, Glorify. I found, like, I don't know, like, half a dozen statues or something like that, if I had to guess. So that's pretty good. And, of course, yeah, like, right here. Oh, yeah, what happens if I- Oh, whoops! Man, been blessed with cobalt. Whoops, yeah, I didn't mean to actually break that. So now we got more cobalt spawning in, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. We- I guess now we've- I think we've broken seven of those things now. Because every time you break those, you get like a hard mode or more hard mode or spawning in. And like if you break six of them, it's, it's kind of like a nice balance of not having too much crimson like spreading and stuff like that while still having a pretty good amount of ores, I think. I forget. I'm like, that was like 50 episodes ago or something like that. That we actually did that in hard mode, right? Sheesh. But either way, looking at all this digging I'm doing right here, like this is so effortless too. Oh my gosh. Like I, I cannot imagine. How OP this would be in a brand new world if I, if I took my character, my current character, into a brand new world, Zenith, drill contained me. Look at these, look at this giant thing of fossils right here. Whoa! 
Man, and you know what? We do need to go into a new, a new world this episode anyways. Because I do want to go test out uh, a few things like trying to get the gob or uh, the, the gnomes or something like that. We have to go try and lure them above ground. Look at that. Break an iron ore with zero effort whatsoever. Man. Here we have a little bit of uh, hallowed, underground hallowed. Oh my gosh. Have any of you guys ever made one of these things? Because this is just nonsense. If none of you guys have never experienced this thing, this is amazing. Like, you're just melting everything around you. You're moving... Yeah, you kind of get slowed down a little bit like that, but... You're floating around like the UFO, the, 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 the car key UFO thing. You're breaking blocks super fast all over the place. Oh, 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 there he is! There he is! There he is! Oh my god! We actually found him! What in the world? We got him! We didn't get the achievement, though. Oh, he probably has to move in. I'm not the type to scream and thrash around just because my ball lands in the water. I stay calm and collected and focus on the next shot. I need a place to hang my gloves. Nothing better than having all the space to yourself. So it sounds like he does like having a, an open area to or uh, to be like kind of lonely, you know. So might want to actually see. He might he might want to be in the desert. Oh man, look at all this though. What in the world is this? There's a lot of there's a couple statues there though. But uh, Harry Matt, hey Harry Madison. I wonder if we can get a Billy Madison over here. Sturdy fossil. Can I break these things? Oh wait, oh I'm processing it through that extractinator thing. I forgot we had that. I was trying to break it right there. What's inside the gold chest though? Boomerang and what is that? Anything I can stack up? Yeah, a couple things. Lesser healing potion. That's nothing now. What's that thing? There's like a vase statue. What is that? That was a pot statue. Can I? I don't know if I can get loot out of that thing. And I mean, pot isn't like a, an actual vase. YouTube, no need to demonetize me there. Not the uh, the demonetizable pot. The uh, the literal thing made out of like clay and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so if I take the, if I go home, assign this guy, or even go to the desert and assign him, I think we might have an open spot over, uh, let's see. There's one, there's two, no, I don't think we do in the desert. I'm like, I assume, like, we found him in the desert, maybe he likes the desert. I don't know, we, we need to read the other uh, thing, though, hold on. We do have an open slot at uh, our base, though, because we moved uh, the, the nurse out of there. Almost called her Emily, but she's died long ago, golly. Oh, she, he's gone already, what? No, wait, no, there he is right there, Harry Madison. All right, so, let's look at the, uh... There it is right there, bestiary. Where is he? There he is. Oh yeah, he, like, he just likes the surface. Okay, just the surface. As long as he's not on the ground, he's good, huh? All right, let's move back. Boom, there you go. I guess we can go move him over there, I suppose. I don't know if we have a chair. We kind of have like a, uh, what, what do you call it? The, uh, the cult guy. We have the, his little thing right there. I don't think we have a chair there. Yeah, I purposely got rid of the chair so that, yeah, the nurse wouldn't move back in there. Hold on. So where is, there he is right there. So, oh, he's already assigned, auto assigned like right there. Yeah, it's already occupied. Okay. I guess we just kind of have to wait until nighttime. He'll move. Oh, it just turned daytime right there. Golly. Well, you, you know, we have to wait until nighttime and he'll actually move. But this episode, I found a few bat statues, bird statue, sword statue, corrupt statue. I don't know what that actually does. Slime statue, pickaxe statue. And I, I, I think I found a couple other ones that might have stacked up with other uh, trees. I don't think we found that one. I don't know. Maybe those are all the ones that I found out there. I feel like I found more, though, but there you go. Oh, and we have another. We have a wooden chair right here. I don't know. I guess we'll wait until he comes over here and we can see, like, what is he like? Was he... It doesn't want to be on his own or whatever. We'll figure that out. Oh, I have a bow statue, too. I need to, uh, I guess I'll get rid of the chair. There we go. There we go. Copper ore, iron ore, sandstone block. We can just get rid of that. Sandstone block. Yeah, we picked up so much sand, regular just stone and all the good stuff there. Yeah, way, way too much of this just actual trash I don't need. Now, where are, there they are. Okay, desert fossils right there. So we got a little bit of stuff right there. Not too bad, I suppose. Wooden chair, I'll get rid of that. Like, if we need it, we can get it. Sometimes carried by creatures in light desert. What? We got a light shard. Ooh, I don't know what that's for. You know what? Let's talk to the, uh, let's talk to, where, where is he? I don't know where, oh, there he is right there. There's Dylan. Let's see, let's give him a light shard real quick. F Sky Fracture? Magic Missile? I think we had that. Oh, no, oh, man, if I still have the Magic Missile, I, I might be able to make the Sky Fracture. 45 mag magic damage, 17 mana. Man. And then Dow of Pow. <laughs> 159 melee damage. It's one of those, uh, what are they called? Like, the little swingy things, the, uh. I don't know, I can't think of it, but I, I, I like to, you like, spin around and Oh, hey, look at that! Real estate agent, we got the achievement there! I guess he finally moved in, where is he? Is he actually here? Or is he, uh... No, he's still- wait, what? Oh, wait, someone else just spawned in right there. Wait, who? Wait, what? What just happened at the bottom of the screen? Because this guy's still down here, and I just saw someone moved in somewhere. Oh, we have a princess up there, what? Christina, who is that? It surely is a swell day to fly a kite, don't you go- Oh! Is she hinting at something? 
It brings me joy residing by my subjects. I understand others may fa find that unappealing. However, Jane, the zoologist, always lets me play with her pets. Oh, we need to get like a dog or something like that too, and we need to pet it, and I think uh, we get an achievement for that. Uh, er Erwin the wizard is so wise, I trust his judgment completely. Harry Madison, the golfer's passion for golf, inspires me. I don't know what, what, where you're getting that. He's still underground right now, so you're kind of lying there, pulling that out your butthole. So what do we, oh man. World tiara? I should get a dress. <laughs> I should have a glass slipper, hey. Prince uniform, I should definitely get, uh, I should meme around here. Oh, we get another forest pile on there. I don't think we need that though. Music box, journey's end, oh. Dark side of the hallow, painting of alas. Let's see, Princess 64, potted crystal tree. I might get these. Uh, I'm not even looking at how much they, they cost. Royal blouse, royal dress, royal tiara, royal scepter, and a glass slipper. I don't know what to do with these. <laughs> Other than I guess just buy them for the memes. And of course, we got the same thing here. Prince cape, prince pants, prince uniform, and uh, potted crystal fern. And spiral. I guess we'll get those just because, hey, why not? So where did she move in? Do we have a king here too? Did we get a king and queen that moved in? Because we've got her. No, it's just her. Yeah, you know, Christina the princess. What? So I guess you get that whenever we get every NPC, you get a princess as well? Huh. I don't know. Hold on. Let me let me actually go look this up so I don't have to wait. <laughs> princess. Let's see. Who is the princess? How do you get her to spawn in? Uh, a prince, th The princess is an NPC vendor that will spawn once the following conditions are met. There's an empty house and all other town NPCs, not including Santa Claus or town pets, are present, meaning that she can only spawn after defeating Plantera. Okay, so yeah. We got it. We got the golfer guy, and therefore she spawned in, and then we got the achievement. So I guess there's a little bit of a hidden thing there. You have to wait. Uh, make sure none of your NPCs are like still dead from the boss battles and stuff like that. Wait for them all to respawn in, and then you get the princess, and then you get the achievement. So that's kind of interesting there. We got these plants and stuff like that. I don't know where to put them. We got so much trash all over the. Oh man, look at that. Well, so where is her house though? I guess I put her up in her room. Get rid of like whatever. Where is uh? Hold on, put, put her head back. There you go. Where's she moving at? She moved into my- She did move into my room. What? Man. Uh, I don't want people living in my room like that, but I guess I'll, uh, you know what? Oh, yeah, let's go get a chair and let's go move her in over there above the other, uh, uh, whatever the- what, what is that guy's name? Uh, he died a couple times. This guy. I move her in, like, right there. Get rid of that little altar. <laughs> and then we'll be good to go, I assume, huh? Yep, there you go. Ancient manipulator. That's what it's called. I guess we can sell it. Oh, actually, I don't think we can get any money from it, right? I think we tried to do that before. Yeah, you don't get it. Okay, whatever. Just, just get me some inventory space, I guess. <laughs> Let me get a chair, though. I don't know if I can... Oh, wait, yeah, we still have that chair. It's still in my trash. <laughs> there you go. Uh, sorry that I pulled this chair out of the trash there, literal princess, but uh, uh, there you go. You're moving in there. Place down some of your plants in here. Oh, I can't do it. Man. Uh, I guess I have to get rid of, like, the wreaths and stuff. There you go. Or the hollies. Crystal teardrop. I uh, get rid of the... Uh, I guess we'll get rid of the... Uh, oh, look at the tiny version of the... The plant, whenever you just drop it on ground. Uh, oh man, that thing's tall. Look at that. So there you go. I don't know if I can fit all of them over here, can I? At least I, do, at least I can walk in the background there, so that's cool. And uh, teardrop. Okay, I can't fit that anywhere. Man! Uh, look at that palm tree there, though. Yeah, whatever. I guess we'll put a holly back here if I can't put anything else there, so right. Uh, here? There you go. Sure, why not? There you go. <laughs> All right. And can I put torches back? I don't know. It's, it's going to be slightly darker in there. Whatever. So she's moved in over there, which is good. Uh, we have some random trash in our inventory. We've got some other stuff. I, I might as well put up. I don't know how this episode is doing lengthwise because I split the video somewhere. So who knows? It might be a long video. It might be a short video. I don't know if we have enough time to go into another world and uh, try and get the, the other stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's, let's go get the achievement over here for uh, getting a dog. Where's the uh, zoologist at? That's, oh, there, he, there she is right there. Uh, there you go. Let's get like a dog or like uh, whatever other pet we can get here. So where do we get that at? Mollusk whistle. That's a flamingo mount. Lightning hero volt bunny. I remember there, you were able to get like a dog, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Bunny license, dog license. Let's get a dog. There we go. And then we get uh, what do you do? Oh, just consume it and then hold on. Let me spawn in over here just in case it like spawns in. Yep, I can actually see it. Where is it? The license teleports away to the dog delivery. So, oh. I guess we have to wait a little while for the thing to spawn in. So I guess I just mailed it away right there. <laughs> it just blew in the wind and it's going to arrive uh, where it needs to go, I guess. Uh, the dog delivery service. All right, well, I guess I'll put up some of the ores up over. Yeah, there you go. And uh, we have a relatively empty inventory right now. I guess we can process all the uh, the fossil stuff. Desert fossil here in just a sec. Let me sell that stuff back there, you go. Hardened sand block. Sure, get that out of my inventory. I don't need that trash. 
<laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get out of the desert fossils though real quick. Oh, we're waiting for the dog to spawn in. Alright guys, back. Just got done with all of those ancient, or uh, desert fossils or whatever they're called there. I got uh, ruby, diamond, tungsten ore, sapphire, amber, copper ore there, gold ore, silver ore, tin ore. It's 30 fossils, 38 of those. Platinum ore and lead ore and iron ore, and that's it right there. So, And a little bit of money right there, 4 gold, 27 silver, and 5 copper. Not too bad there, I suppose. Guess we'll just stack all that up if I can. There you go. Uh, did I run? I guess I do don't have any, or, uh, not ingots, uh, oh, I probably do have ingots over here, I just don't have any orders for those things down. So let's put those up inside there, there you go. Alright, so, this episode, uh, it's, I just looked, it's 25 or so minutes long right now. We have a little bit of time, I guess we could wait until that dog spun in, uh, maybe check on what other, what other achievements we could do while we're, uh, waiting for episode 100, which is probably going to be a longer episode, to be quite honest. It's going to be perfect for the next episode to, you know, go into that old world. You guys remember the world we went into to try and get that enchanted sword? Uh, I guess we'll go into that one, because I know there's, like, those giant tree things. I think they're called living trees. Should be able to find a gnome over there and bring it to the surface, and it'll turn to stone, which will be pretty good, and get that achievement. And then, uh, while we're there, it, we can make sure it's a corrupted world, so we just have to go take a hammer over there, break, I think, just one corrupted uh, altar or something like that, right? I think we should be good to go. We'll get the Eater of Worlds thing. We'll be able to kill that, I'm sure. Defeat every slime there is. Ah, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get that next episode. Might have to wait until Season 2. Oh, yeah, Survive a Long Fall. Yeah, we, we could do that, like, right now. And then uh, Summons, that's not going to happen just yet. Golden Fitcher Rod, these Angler ones, that's going to be Season 2, definitely. And then every boss in Terraria, if we kill the Eater of Worlds, boom. We're going to get that one as well, so that's going to be good. Fly Kite on a Windy Day. Didn't the uh, Princess just say it was a good day to fly kite? I guess we could try it. Unless it's just like a thing she randomly says. I don't know if it uh, actually indicates it's a good day to fly a kite, but uh, drop a lure in a pool of lava. Yeah, we're, we're going to wait until we do angler stuff until we can uh, finally do that, so that sucks. And then this one, yeah, I said we could do that one next episode. Trick a gnome into turning into stone. Should be able to do that because that that uh, seed has a lot of those like living tree things, so should be able to find a gnome over there and bring it to above. And then we should be able to get this one here in just a bit. Deliver head pats to the town pet. Encounter a fairy, haven't had that happen just yet. Might be able to get it this episode or next episode. And then of course, yeah, you're so preoccupied with whether or not you could, you sh could open the chest that you didn't stop to think if you should, yeah. To find like the dead man, the dead man's chest or something like that. It's supposed to be like really rare, so. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get that in this season. I'll, I'll probably have to put that off until next season, unfortunately, so that'll kinda suck, but. Either way, so just kinda waiting for the dog. I suppose we can take off the, uh, let's see. So where, it, how, how, oh man, this actually is a pretty big fall here. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Oh, oh, wait. No, there it is right there. Let's see. Oh, whoops. So if I fall from right here... Did I put... I, I, I put all my money up, so that's good. But take the Terra Spark boots back. I think those uh, prevent fall damage. And then, of course, the wings. If I take that, those both away. Zoom out all the way. Fall... Oh! oh! <laughs> I had 59 health right there. Lucky break. We got that achievement right there, you guys. Super easy. Man, I thought you had to have like one health or something like that. I guess uh, like maybe a percentage of your health, like maybe 10% of your health. But yeah, I, I thought I had like 659 health right there, which isn't 10%. That's a little bit more. So I don't know what the actual specifications of this are, parameters are of the uh, achievement, but whatever. <laughs> at least we got the right, uh, at least we got the achievement right there. I'm so flustered, you guys. I I'm so surprised that we got that achievement. Let's see. What, what other achievements uh, do I think we can get this episode? Oh, we still have a few minutes left. Oh yeah, to try and find the fairy. Yeah, we have to wait until nighttime to go over to the uh, to the thing over there, which I guess we could, uh, can't we do that like right now? That's 3.40 something PM. I guess we can just uh, fast forward to this. There you go, and probably in the daytime, we we'll actually get the, uh, or in the morning time or whatever, we we'll actually get the, uh, the golfer to move in and then maybe the dog will arrive. That'd be pretty good. And then we can end off the episode, I suppose, huh? So I suppose we could just go over here and knock on all the trees or something like that. And well, I guess, it, oh yeah, if we do that, We've already knocked on all the trees. So yeah, if I did that, they'll, uh, they'll just cut all of them down, unfortunately. Man, yeah, I don't know. It, I, 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 maybe we'll have to wait until next episode to do that. I could cut down the trees, plant down a bunch of saplings, and then maybe next episode they'll all be grown in. Then we can knock on all the trees, try and get a fairy to spawn in, and then kill it or capture it or whatever we need to do with it. I don't know, but let's just wait until it turns to nighttime real quick, and I guess we can test it out. All right, 7.30. There you go. Let's go over there. I guess we can go knock on the trees. I assume that's what you do <laughs> to try and uh, get the fairy. You just hit it with the axe, but like, at the same time, it doesn't... Oh, yeah, and lead all these mushrooms right here. This is why we're able to make so many shroomite bars earlier. But, uh, oh, there you go. Slice through that thing. Oh, well, this tree... Oh, did it... Did it... Do they heal? They don't look like they're almost cut down anymore. Four. Oh! Oh, uh, I guess you could hit it three times before it breaks, right? Man, that sucks. Let's see. One, two, three. There you go. 
Yeah, see, there's like a little crack right there. If I hit it one more time. Yep, boom, dead. So yeah, I guess I'll get all the, uh, the... Eight. Oh, I only have a couple acorns right now, man. I guess I'll place one right here. There you go. Put another one like right here. Yep, there you go. It's right next to a flower, though, so I don't... There you go, get rid of the marigold. And then, uh... Oh, wait, what happened to my acorn? Did I drop it? Oh my god, that thing grew so fast. Oh, I guess we only had like three of them right there, huh? And look at that, we got a little lightning bug right there. Cool, so one, two, three. Hey, look at that, another acorn. So, uh, two acorns, actually. So, there we go. I'm hearing like, what sounds like a prismatic lace wing or something like that here, you guys. Is there one nearby, or is it just a... Oh, it must be the sound of a pixie or something like that. I don't know, it just sounds very magical right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've got torches and there's so many plants all there. Yep. Just plant these all down if I can't hear you. Place a oh, jeez, place another one right here. Yep, there you go. I guess we'll uh, tap on these trees three times. One, two, three. Did I hit that three times right there? I think it did. Okay, well, hopefully it heals up there. Man, I'm getting hit by that thing. Look at that giant eyeball. One, two, three. Bird came out of that one, though. So I guess I can come over here every now and then and... There you go. What if I hit higher up on the tree, like right up here? One. Oh, oh, you can. Ooh. Look at all that. I could, I could just scar this tree hardcore. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that thing looks so disgusting right now. I shouldn't be doing this, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm so much of a savage. <laughs> zip, zip, zip. Oh, that's the laser. Laser drill thing. Oh, <laughs> I, I wonder how good the uh, drill containment unit is. Uh, cutting down trees, probably really, really good. Oh my gosh, we need to test that out in that other seed, you guys. We need to test out how good that thing is going to be in a fresh new world. Especially because that's going to be the last episode of season one anyway. So, hey, might as well try it, right? So, because I'll just keep on bashing these trees here. We get like, what, a 2% chance or something like that of, uh... Oh! Oh man, it cut- Ah, might as well cut down the rest of the tree. Yep, there you go. Went down the acorns back. There you go. But yeah, I'll keep on abusing these trees real quick, and hopefully we get a fairy coming out of it. I doubt it's gonna happen, because... Nothing's- Nothing's come out of these things just yet. Look at that. I don't know if that's actually what you do. It doesn't seem like- It seems really weird and random. Yeah, I can't even, like, bash the actual leaves of the tree. Or like that, like, look at this. Nothing's coming out of that one. I think it might be too tall or something like that. I don't know. This one's a pretty tall one, though. Oh, yeah, what if I did... Oh, oh, I can't grab... Oh, man, I can't grapple onto a tree. I was about to say, like, maybe I can grapple on a tree and then I can get the higher spots to be a little bit easier, but no. Man. Yeah, nothing's happening. It is nighttime. We do need to do this at night, specifically. Oh, man, it cut down that tree. Man. All right, I guess we could, uh... Another acorn down. Yep, there you go. All right, well, I guess we'll put another, uh, acorn here, I suppose. Hey, look at that, another tree grew in. Yep, there you go. All right. I guess we'll just go use the sundial or something like that here in just a sec. Oh, man, that tree grew in, like, instant. Oh, jeez, what in the world? A bunch of birds came out of that tiny little stubby little tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's already dead. Whoops. Man, imagine just growing a tree and then instantly <laughs> it appears. And then you cut it down, like, right as fast as heck and grows. That's so savage. Uh, there we go. Yep. Man, I am just... Look at this. It's so scarred with all these axe hits. Oh, whoops, now it's dead. Yeah, I don't think it's doing anything, you guys. I'm, I'm just gonna stop right now. I doubt it's even doing anything, so... Yep, there you go. Alright, let's head back. Guess we'll head back and uh, just go use the sundial, turn to the daytime, see if the guy guy's going to... Oh, wait, he's already here, isn't he? Is that... Yeah, there he is right there. What is he doing? What does he sell, though? I don't think I ever checked that, did I? Let's see. Oh, yeah, what was his happiness out here? Golf is a sport best played solo. I dislike. Oh, okay. I dislike my life not being the same way. I like the forest. It has all the necessary features for golfing. I tried to teach Christina the princess a few slicks up, slick golf tricks, but she schooled me instead. I like her. <laughs> so maybe you could move uh, her in with the golfer guy, perhaps. Like maybe over there. Maybe I don't know. I I, that seems like it's a little bit too close to all these NPCs over here, though. Oh wait, no. That's why we specifically moved him over there in the first place. Because I like measured it out. I think right. Yeah. I know, let's see what else- Oh yeah, he has like golf clubs and flags and golf ball. <laughs> can be worn in vanity slots, can be hit with a golf club. Arrow sign, country club. I could look like him if I wore that. Lawnmower, most pure and hallowed grass mode grass reduces enemy spawn chance. What? I don't really want to do that if that's the case. <laughs> Alright, well, golf tee. Alright, well, I don't know if we could do anything with that. The, the, the dog still hasn't arrived though, so I'll just do this sundown, turn it to daytime. See if it'll arrive, and if not, then I guess I'll pop- Oh, yeah, it hasn't arrived just yet. I don't know, where, where is it? Does it does it have a thing that spawns in? It's like, oh, the dog is here! I don't know if it has, like, a special ceremonial- Ceremonial event that happens. I don't know. Kind of want to go buy another thing from, uh, whatever her name is. Either that or just wait some more. I suppose I could wait some more. See if a dog randomly starts walking around or something like that, so... 
Yeah, let me just go sleep a little bit more and I'll see you guys here in just a second. Oh wait, no, never mind. Roxy the dog has arrived. Hey, look at that. Hey, let's go pet it. Pet. Hey, feeling petty. We just, <laughs> that's such a weird name. Feeling petty, because you know I pet it. Uh, woof woof, says the dog. Can't check on the dog's happiness or anything like that. I wonder if you get like different breeds of dogs and stuff like that. Like, that'd be really cool if I can get a Shiba Inu over here. That'd be a good name. Literally. Look at that. Look at that little dog, Roxy the dog. Hey, everyone pet the dog. There you go. Oh, you can even see. Hold on. Let's get rid of our shield and stuff. You can even see a... Sh uh, oh, oh, I need to take off the armor. That's why. You can even see like a petting animation that happens. It's really, really cool. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Let me get to an area where I can actually see this. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Ah, oh, I'm giving us some head pads. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. With my... Like, <laughs> With my Moon Lord mask on with the tentacles and stuff with that hanging down. <laughs> and a sunflower in the background too. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think this is a great episode. We can we get it off right here. We got a lot of achievements done. I didn't even, like I even said earlier, I wasn't even expecting to find the golfer guy over here. So hey, that was a pretty good surprise that we got that. Uh, those last achievements, we should be able to get a few of them next episode. And then of course the, the ones like the angler one, the, the, the stuff like this, this chest right here, maybe even the fairy one. Probably gonna have to wait for season two to get those. So hey, maybe that's something to look forward to for season two alongside the mods and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if the, the achievements will carry over to like if I played a, an older version of the game or anything like that. Like maybe they added achievements for 1.4. So therefore, like 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 maybe this fairy one doesn't exist in 1.3, but it does in 1.4. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, but yeah, we'll be able to get a lot more achievements. I guess I'll check up on Steam real quick. I'm at 88% of my achievements here, you guys. What if I can I? Can I screenshot this and show you guys? Uh, oh, whoops. There you go. Screenshot the whole thing. That way you guys can actually see. Hey, there it is right there. All right. Let's see. Save that so you guys can see that later. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I see, but I don't record here. Uh, showing me that 88%, 92 out of 104 achievements for Terraria. This is pretty good, you guys. And we'll definitely be able to get that uh, Eater of Worlds one next episode. Same thing with the uh, Destroy All, or uh, not Destroy All, Wild Dinos. <laughs> Same thing with uh, destroying or defeating all the bosses. We'll be able to get both of those together, which is going to be really good. But that's going to be for next episode. If you guys have any other ideas or suggestions or anything like that, you need to leave them in the comments of this episode. Because like I said, next episode is going to be the last episode, episode 100, last episode of season one. We're going to be ending it right there. Nice round number to end it at. And hey, it might be a longer video. It might be like an hour long or something with like that. Might be able to squeeze in a few last things. So if you guys want me to do some things, uh, maybe I doubt we can get a full beast here, 9 to 1.19% collected. Doubt we can get more, honestly. Like, maybe we'll be able to fill that up to like maybe like 92, 3 or something like that percent next episode when we explore a corrupted world, but I doubt we can get 100%. There's probably a lot of stuff that you have to get uh, to try and get that, though. Uh, oh, yeah, then while we're in that other world next episode, I definitely want to try and kill the guardian of the. Was it the Dungeon Guardian? I definitely want to go kill him during the daytime or something like that, because we should be able to do that with our damage output and our uh, well, our armor doesn't really do it. We just have to avoid getting hit by him because he does like thousands of damage, just like the uh, Empress of Light during the daytime. So definitely want to have to uh, avoid. I want to delete it. Oh, wait, there we go. Definitely want to avoid uh, actually getting hit by that guy, but it might be kind of tough. We're going to have to zoom out all the way and use our uh, Zenith at maximum length to make sure nothing ever happens. But that's going to be for next episode. Like I said, Anything and everything you guys are thinking in the comments and suggestions, any last minute things we could do for episode 100, the final episode of season one, let me know in the comments of this video or forever hold your peace, I guess, or you'll have to wait until season two for us to do some stuff, right? So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I don't know if this thing moves faster or slower than the UFO. It might be the same. But yeah, while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as episode 100 comes out so you don't miss that final episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with the final episode of Terraria Season 1. Oh, bye. Oh, I can't even do... Okay. Can't do the zenith from that, I guess, huh? <laughs> oh, bye there.